We are back into the classroom. So excited about that. It is time for a teacher of the week and we are kicking things off with a little music. So grab your drumsticks or your saxophone. If Darcy was here, I would tell her to get her clarinet that she hasn't played since middle school. Christy Calcagno takes us to Lakewood High School. One, two, ready, play. The countdown is over. News 19 Teacher of the Week is back. With a little bit of music with Dr. Camille Cooper at Lakewood High School in Sumter. I, was, I wanted to be a band director since I was in sixth grade. I had a lot of teachers in my family, um, so I wanted to teach. Born in Williamsburg County, Dr. Cooper started working in the music industry. I worked for um, a record label, um, Sony. I worked with their distribution company for a couple years. I didn't like the music industry. I wanted to effectively work with people who, are, um, who I can influence their minds, and I was just working with students. But the transition to education wasn't easy. After the tragic loss of one of his students in Charlotte, his passion for teaching grew stronger. Truth be told, um, one of my students got murdered, and I felt like if I, was at, if I had him at band practice that day, um, he wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have been arguing with a girl. So I said, let me go back to education. Let me try to get in the classroom. And that's what ended up pushing me back in the classroom. Dr. Cooper says it only took two hours of convincing to get him to come to Lakewood High. And back down, by the end of next, by the end of the month. That's too hard. Now in his third year here, his purpose is clear. I teach because I love it, but I teach here because I see the potential here and I see that they haven't had an uh, opportunity to, to reach their full potential over the last 30 years. And his students are ready to reach that potential. He's not like just an instructor. Uh, an instructor. You can joke with him, you can laugh with him, you can have co casual conversations with him. The method to this man's madness works. Like, when I tell you, it was like a couple of things that I thought, okay, like, how are we going to get through this? I don't know what he does, but when he does it, it always comes together. And I think it's safe to say Dr. Cooper was a bit speechless when we walked in. My name is Christy Calcagno. I'm from WLTX. Congratulations. You're our Teacher of the Week. Let's give it up. It feels odd because I'm just doing what I feel is, is necessary. It makes me feel good that they're there, but it also makes me feel that um, the next generation will listen. You can tell he was passionate about his job. Like He doesn't just do it for money. And I feel like that's that award should go to somebody who's passionate about their job. Anytime I win something, we win. This is for y'all. This is for y'all. Oh, Dr. Cooper, that's a beautiful story. Uh, thanks so much for sharing it. And if you know an amazing teacher with a great story on why he or she loves to be in the classroom or like Dr. Cooper, what it was that brought them back to the classroom, shoot us an email at tow at wltx.com. All right, guys, stay with us.